They may be beautiful to look at, but Atlantic blue crabs can be a real nuisance in ecosystems where they don't naturally belong. They're opportunistic predators, meaning they'll eat just about anything they can get their claws on, disrupting food chains wherever they go. There were so many people that came into contact with me. They called me, they messaged me, everything responded to my posts that I put on uh, Speak Freely or on the Nautilus uh, monitoring group chat. And it was, again, overwhelming. There was, honestly, tens of responses. I didn't expect there to honestly be that many reports. And they did. They came in. They, were, they literally flooded in. It confirmed, I guess, the aims of my study, which was whether they were present or not. And it confirmed, yeah, that these crabs, this species is present in our waters. And that um, citizen science, which is the inclusion of community, uh, in tracking and, and things like that. They are very effective for tracking biological invasions because this is a well-known invasive species throughout the whole of the Mediterranean and adjacent waters uh, in Portugal. And they literally confirmed their presence where in field surveys, which I undertook alongside the citizen science initiative, said that there weren't any, but the citizen science said that they were. So now that we know they're here, what are they up to and what can we do about it? We've got a few amazing crab species and this invasive crab is known to outcompete a lot of native crabs. And, you know, if we, from an environmental standpoint, we want to keep our marine uh, environment and our marine life as it is. Uh, but it is a changing environment. The introduction of these crabs can sort of decimate quite a few fish species, bivalve species, crab species as well. Uh, so we could see changes in that population and really we want to continue monitoring uh, their numbers, are they in large numbers, um, and if so, well, what should we do? Early management intervention usually is, if you see them, remove them, they're very widely consumed uh, throughout the Mediterranean as a management, early management technique, and they're very tasty at that, and they have some really nice, you know, culinary nutrition, so if you see one and you are actively in the fishing community, you actively fish them, remove them, and honestly, if you want to take them home to cook, you could take them home to cook. It sounds delicious, and more importantly, it'll keep numbers in check. Well, really, I'm providing huge support for this whole idea that citizen science can help track biological invasions. And in the end of the day, the marine environment is continuously changing. We've even had recent reports of, uh, like, the blue sea dragon that's just been across, literally just across in La Línea here. And it's like these new species are appearing everywhere in line with climate change and just warming uh, waters, which is also what has facilitated the movement of the uh, blue crab. But it's not just the blue crab. That was just my scope of my dissertation personally. But it's more just this community and especially Gibraltar being very small. It's almost like a small island community. And everyone is so willing to help and willing to get out there and search. I was speaking to young citizen scientists uh, in Eastern Beach and they were literally searching through the sand with their nets to look for these crabs and they did, they found them. So it's just the whole idea that you can mobilise a whole community to have almost like one common aim. So what next for Emma? I mean, if it wasn't for the people of Gibraltar, this dissertation wouldn't have been possible and I've absolutely acknowledged the fact that if it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't have many results. So um, it's been absolutely great. So I wanted to say a big thank you uh, to the community anyways. Um, and now I'm going to be waiting for my results and hopefully um, I pass. I would, that's what I'm hoping for. And then it will be on the run, searching for a job wherever the wind takes me. Um, but hopefully I would love to continue with uh, community engagement because it was the most rewarding part of my whole project and something that I've really, truly liked loved. Well we wish Emma all the best of luck and while scientists keep watch and the fishermen cast their nets, foodies can rest easy because for once they're actually a part of the solution.